What's happening guys? We are back for episode number three of the CrossFit Zulu podcast. I'm joined again with Bobby and we've got one of our members, Ash, joining us today. Guys, we've got some really cool topics. One of the main ones we're going to be discussing today is everything that's happened over the past week um, in Natal and how our community has come together and just joined forces to protect one another and just support one another. Guys, I hope you really enjoy this podcast. Go and check it out. Guys, we are back, episode number three, back with Bobby and the new guest, Ash. Hey, guys. Thanks for being here today. We're going to kick things off with our giveaway that we did at episode number two. Um, so, Ash, you can do the lucky. Yes, the draw. draw. Okay, Wait. let's do this. What do they win, Craig? Not yeah, don't forget. So, we've got our Athletes First Salt Solace merchandise, Rebel Grips, and a skipping rope. Just mm-hmm. a cool little giveaway we did on episode two for sharing and liking and subscribing. So so let's go, Bob. Do you want to do the honors? And this? Is this a giveaway? No, that's mine. Oh. That's merch, merch that's <laughs> launching. Okay, okay cool. Ash, Ash will go. You're a guest, so you'll go. Okay, I've got a name here. Do I read it out or is Bobby, you read it out? Dun, 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 Who's dun. It? Michael Tones. Nice. Nice. Ma- nice. Michael Tones. Oh, no, wait, no, wait. This is. No, it's Michael Tones. <laughs> Congrats, buddy. You get a prize. Sweet, so Mark Tone's walking away with a little giveaway. Some salt and merch. Um, yeah, guys, if you do want to grab stuff, jump on to the Solace uh, website and you can grab some merch that they've just launched. And we partnered with them, like we mentioned in episode two, awesome. where we've got some cool shirts coming out, um, some shorts, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Do coaches um, get for free? No. Okay. <laughs> discount, discount. Yeah, but guys... Coaches invest in the story, Bobby. Guys, this oh, last geez. week has been crazy. Yeah, um, absolutely. We went from so starting off with two weeks of like a lockdown, dominantly for like your restaurants and obviously all gyms had to close. Mm. Um, and just as we're starting to get ready to reopen, we get hit with riots and yeah, yeah crazy, crazy week. Um, what did you guys think of it like? Bob's going first. <clears throat> yeah, well, being on the front line <laughs> at the barricades, checkpoints. <laughs> no, I did, I did my share. You were, you actually but, did really good. But let me tell you something. You were awesome. I loved it because you just checked. That was community for me, you know? Yeah. Like the first couple of days was like guys within the great, well, not the greater, but within our little community. But Thursday, Friday, we had guys from Shyamoya, Sharkers pulling in there also trying to just mm. help us, you know, which just was quite cool. It. So there's a unity yeah. about it that was so yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. something really cool to see how, like, in one one or two days, like, the whole community pulled mm-hmm. through. Like, everyone yeah. was just driving up there. I know we yeah. sort of put something together with the box having to be closed, just not knowing what's going on. Yeah. We said to the guys, rather than coming to class at five, six, whatever times, let's meet up there and, like, meet as a community there. Yeah, um, and it's just so important to see community, especially nowadays. Like, yeah. You don't see people gathering together and supporting each other. Yeah, so when something absolutely. like this happens and you see how well yeah. guys come together, yeah. it's just incredible. And it's been really awesome to see actually how agile we are as people. Yeah, because Monday sort of came out of nowhere. And within a day, people were like, okay, get information. Let's see how everyone's doing. Text the people in your world and just be present and i think it's been really incredible to see how quickly people have moved and have stepped out of their i guess you would say their worlds a bit mm. their bubble to actually just yeah, be present so add value where you can and i think that's been an incredible thing to see yeah. as well in an uncertain time you can tr- you can choose two things you can either just freak out panic or you can speak life and add value to the moment yeah so good Ash. and i think i've loved seeing people champion the better narrative for this this country in this moment. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I think it's going to help with Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu. Absolutely. Definitely. Exactly. I am because you are. Yeah. And we're also, better together. I also started a new diet. It's called the Riot Diet. <laughs> Shops are closed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably the perfect time to start the diet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Looking so lean. Um, but it's been it's so been incredible. Lean. Like obviously with everyone coming together. Yeah. Like you had guys going out to try and get food trucks in. Like mm-hmm. I know a couple guys that went out to just like protect or just as much as they can be a security force around food yeah. coming in yeah. and fuel coming in. Yeah. So it was still the community getting involved to mm. bring stuff in. If mm. it, and if it wasn't for them, 
I don't think we would have been no, in absolutely. a lot harder situation. No, so grateful for people like that. People within our community, our our box, our church. It's been amazing to yeah. just see guys put up their yeah. hand and say, we're going to transport food in and out of this community. Mm. It's and been, I know it's the church awesome. did a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you can explain more. Just I remember going up when we went out on Sunday to do that cleanup mm. and we walked in, there was just boxes of food that people would rally together. Yeah. I don't know if that's still going on. So or... that is still going on. So I think... Literally since last week, Monday, we were on standby as a, as a staff team to see, okay, our plan for the week looks different now because we had love week last week and we, would, we just thought, okay, this is now sort of flipped on its head, but we're going to be a group of people that are just going to put our hands up and serve where we can. And so we've been on standby every day and it's looked different from packing foods to trying to get nappies and formula to moms that have no access to the shops at that time. Wednesday and Thursday, we went through to a Durban cleanup in River Horse Valley as a team, oh. which was just incredible to see people pull up in the thousands. Mm. And the damage was, it was huge. But I think over and above just being overwhelmed by what has happened in that space, we were just so moved by the people. Yeah. Yeah. Every race, men and women, children coming together saying, this is our home and actually we're going to make it beautiful again. And then building up to Mandela Sunday, which for us as a church, we close off our love week on Mandela Sunday. We had planned a really beautiful moment with Live Village and the Live Choir and everything just flipped on its head as mm. of last week. Pivot! And we pivoted hard. <laughs> and yo, what started as just a few little invites, guys, we're pulling in on the yeah. Sunday doing a cleanup in the areas actually where mm. not a lot of people are showying up, which yeah. is Sharker's Head, Shia mm. Moya. And this is just phase one of that cleanup and food distrib uh, distribution space. We're still collecting food by the truckloads for people cool. that are going into nice. spaces. And we've got some incredible photos as well. So if anyone wants to see that, just jump onto Link Church and Link Foundation. All the photos are there of just families being blessed in this moment. Yeah. And I think that's actually incredible. Nice. Yeah. So how can we get involved? Like obviously as a box, we've just been supporting as much as we can, yeah. just as individuals and obviously as a community. Mm. But like obviously we were meant to do a big love week and join up with that. Mm. Are we going to continue with that? Are we? Yeah, so there's two things. So with this, um, I think we're just trying to help KZN and the North Coast in this moment. If you still want to get involved with that and from a food side or a cleanup side, just make sure you're following Link Foundation and everything you need is there. If you want to make a donation, if you want to drop off dry foods, you can still do that at Link Campus. And then um, we're still doing the people movement. Um, you'll see I'm wearing some merch. And yeah. so that was a virtual run that we created. Um, we were originally going to do a run in Belito at Sugar Rush. And then with COVID happening, we weren't able to really gather. And so we thought what a, there's no better way than to actually do a virtual run. People from Scotland are joining us. People oh, from all over are joining us. And we're actually just moving for a cause. The funds raised for that are going towards a safe house being built in Belito for women and children who are victims of abuse. And so we've partnered with the Rise Up movement and yeah, we've called it the People Movement. And so that is still going to awesome. be happening. And all you need to know is just um, follow Link Foundation. We're going to release new event dates cool. for that. And it's all happening virtually. And I know as a box, you guys are going to yeah. be doing it as well. Um, and there's also merchandise. So every, every bit of merch that you purchase as well, it goes towards fundraising for this oh, event. Sweet. So yeah, just follow Link Foundation and everything you need to know is there. Yeah, we had a little warm up on Saturday last week. Yeah, just our first, to 5K, just our to first test it out 5K the water. Is a box. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Amber, who actually is part of the box as well, did a 15 kilometer on the assault bike oh, wow. for the people yeah, movement. That's crazy. Nice. Um, mind blown. But what's really awesome is it can look like anything. Actually, we've mm. even got like Tashby Pilates doing like Pilates stuff. So if you're not big into running far, but you love being in the CrossFit box, jump on an assault bike, jump on an air walker. It can look or just spend some person. time just training, exactly. doing something. Yeah. You yeah. basically just have to pledge a distance or pledge some time and then move cool. for a course. Well, I know us as a box, as CrossFit Zulu, we'll definitely be behind this. Mm. And I think we're challenging all the other boxes out there to yeah, get involved. Yeah, definitely. Get involved. Gosh, so, it's I mean, awesome. Like, obviously, Love Week's always been a thing every year, but the situation we find ourselves, I mean, CrossFit the only one that I know of, CrossFit Durban West, they were hit by mm. guys coming through and damaged their box. Mm. And I just look at it as if we had people, like we, we're battling already with mm. lockdown and COVID and everything. And if we had to now try and rebuild our gym, 
from what's gone on. Yeah. I can just see, imagine what the they're going through. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, but it's so good to see a community like on a group that we are on with all the boxers to see mm. how they've rallied together to try and help them. That's amazing. And just be there as a support. If they can't yeah, help financially, I mean, a message and that is a lot better than mm. not any, yeah, doing anything. Absolutely. I mean, as people, we're better together. And I think yeah. that's our strongest mm. points. And we do this for community. We don't just do this to train. We do this to build family within a box. Mm. And I think that's one of CrossFit's greatest gifts, I think, is the family yeah. that you get to build along with the training so that true. comes with it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I think I it's going to be cool coming together. Yeah. I think there are lots of little things that bring us together. Mm. So yes, it's we're in some horrible times, mm. but it's like it's these horrible times that bring communities yeah, together. Yeah, absolutely. Which yeah, just the more we can do for other people and for ourselves as yeah. a community, the better. Yeah, I absolutely. Guess. Deposit hope. For sure. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that CrossFit Durban West guys actually started training yesterday. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Amazing. they ran their first class. On a higher note. <laughs> that's yeah. amazing. Which is quite cool. You'll yeah. see how close they'll come now. Like, you've had something like that. The members mm. will rally. They'll be yeah. like, let's get back and mm. let's show that you haven't knocked us down yeah. sort of thing. And we design for community, guys. Yeah. That's, We're that's wired just, that way. Definitely. So, mm. yeah. Like, yeah. Shout out to you guys. Shout out. just jumping back. Shout out to my community, man. Yeah. For being yeah. there for me. I love Bob's you guys, man. Community, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> Um, so yeah, well guys, I mean, it has been a crazy week. We hopefully are slowly getting out of it. Mm. Um, by the end of this week, hopefully we can see ourselves just in smaller communities. Obviously, there's a massive wave still to come with Absolutely. just the, the economy, what it's done to that. But I think hopefully we're through this and we can just get back to some mm. normality yeah. and get the guys back in the gym, get yeah. Ash back into some classes. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Absolutely. Um, yeah. But just some CrossFit stuff. Obviously, so CrossFit Games is starting next next week, I think. I don't want to say this week, but yeah, next week. Yeah, it is week. next week, yeah. Um, so, Ash, I don't know if you keep up to date with any I CrossFit love, stuff. I, I follow all the things and all the, <laughs> all the Netflix things. No, guys, I'm a bit, I'm a bit obsessed. It's a problem. Nice. So, have you, have you got any favorites? Yeah, but it's, I don't know if I'm just being biased because I'm a girl, but I love Tia. I mean, come on, let's I think be honest. everyone does. Yeah. Um, if you're going into hard, a bed. And I love all the daughters, like Sigmund's daughters. <laughs> there. So I love getting all the daughters right. Yeah. But they're so hardcore. All the Iceland girls, they're amazing. Mm. Um, I think I watch the CrossFit stuff on Netflix like at least once a month, especially when I feel like I'm having a little bit of a dip in training, <laughs> which I have had recently just for like, you know, just life reasons. And then I watch it and I'm like, I am going in strong on Monday. So no, I love, wow. I love following that stuff. And you know what? Moving... And training is so good for your mental health, especially mm. now. COVID's been harsh on people. The looting and the strikes have now been harsh on people. And I think if you can give anyone advice in this season, it's just to get up and keep moving. Yeah. And if you're part of a CrossFit community or whatever that looks like, I mean, what I love is like, Craig, you've even created platforms for people to do this remotely and from mm. home. Like, There's no boundaries to this, even though we're in a season of like, not really gathering fully and so yeah. keep moving it's so good for you well, that's, it's so I think, good for your mental health i mean that's where crossfit tries to prepare you is like you yeah. should be prepared for anything so if it's being locked out of your gym mm. you can still do stuff at home i mean you can do more than enough burpees and mm. run and absolutely <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah it's just not cool on your own though that's your anyways but you can but, that's, just why we have the but that's why you got community. I mean, exactly. even on WhatsApp, I love seeing like when our lockdown restrictions get like harder each time. I've loved seeing on our WhatsApp groups, people sharing photos of just did my run, just did the yeah. word. Oh, that's um, awesome. You know, that's like the best thing ever. Um, so, yeah, so many celebrates in, in a season that doesn't always look so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's wrap it up, Ash. Thank you for Thank jumping you on with us. This was really cool. Um, we've got some really cool stuff coming up with the mm. box and just the community and how CrossFit Zulu as a community will be working with Link Church and Link mm. Foundation. So there's some exciting stuff yes, to so come. Um, yeah, and it's just thank you for being a part of our community. Mm. No, you guys are awesome. So, so Thank cool. you. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> thank you. We love you. We will see you guys back here. Myself and Bob will be back. Um, yeah. But yeah, this was really cool. Thanks, guys. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed episode number three of the Cross and Zulu podcast. If you've got any comments or any topics you'd like us to discuss in episode number four, please comment below. 
Guys, if you have not yet subscribed or liked this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. Mike Tone, congratulations on winning the CrossFit Zulu giveaway. Guys, to stand a chance to win some future giveaways, stay tuned. Make sure to check out some future podcasts and content that we're putting out. Guys, have a really awesome week and we'll see you back at episode number four of the CrossFit Zulu podcast. Don't forget, go find you in a warrior.